If there are five rows, the first, third, and fifth would be odd rows, and the second and fourth would be even rows. But how would we generalize this? To figure this out, let's look at a couple more examples. If the total number of rows was six, then even rows would be three, and odd rows would also be three. If the number of rows was seven, then odd rows would be four, and even rows would still be three. So it looks like the number of odd rows is something like half of the total number of rows. But four isn't exactly half of seven over two. It would be half of seven plus one over two. What would happen if we added one onto this six as well? Then we would get seven over two, which in Java land, for integers, is still three. For the even rows, six over two is three. That one works. And seven over two is pretty close to three. In Java land, that's three. So if I just divide by two and throw away the remainder, it looks like I get the number of even rows. If you don't believe me, you can try a few more examples. So it looks like the total number of odd rows is the total number of rows plus one over two, and then drop the decimal. Whereas the number of even rows is just the total number of rows over two, and we drop the decimal. There's another way you could calculate the odd rows. You could say that the odd rows are always the total number of rows divided by two, and then you add one if the total number of rows is odd. So that would be the total number over two plus one if seven is odd, and if seven is odd, then seven mod two would be one, so total mod two. Save these for later, and you could also try this one.